and go to the Proteus Lab Center electronic shortcut. Anything using the 16F628A will probably most definitely be on this board. Okay, this virtual terminal output is for this device here. It's just a way of communicating to your computer or something else. Just close that for now. Okay, this is our TS1302 output or debugging screen. And if I put the mouse over this device and scroll in, I can zoom into my real time clock chip. And you can see the the uh, colors flashing here. This this icon re resembles an output, or sorry, a connection to another pin. And LCD six is connected to RB six clock. Clock is connected to RA zero, and DQ is connected to RA one. So it's just a way of joining things up without wires in ISIS. So the PIC micro is then connected to the LCD through those pins. And there's a couple other ones here as well. And there's the actual data that the uh, PIC micro is reading from the from the chip. And here's the debug screen that the chip of the uh, chip's actual data. It's fairly spot on. Okay, we'll try one more out. So back to file and open. Okay, we'll try the uh, H serial in key. Okay, so it's using the 16F877. Make sure you compile the program. Now hit your Lab Center Electronics shortcut because it's the 16F877, chances are it's going to be on this board. Remem remember earlier that we closed the virtual terminal uh, debugging screen? If you want to open that or bring that uh, screen back up, or any uh, screen for any external component use the ISIS, go to the debug menu and anything that's used is available in here. So here's my virtual terminal debug screen. So I can bring it up. You can even change the size of it if you want. Okay, so now when I click on a, uh, a button here, it should give me a value from 0 to 15, depending on the uh, button I press. 1 will be 0, 2 will be 1, and so forth. And there you go. Well, I hope somehow this has helped someone. And feel free to go through all the other examples found in the uh, Proteus examples folder and see how Proton and Proteus works. Thanks for listening.